uh, he's the guy again so funny in 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 um internet marketing with crypto so many people are coming from the same field right when you see that it's kind of scary i mean it is scary alex and all these people are coming from internet marketing i'm like they're marketers they're not developers bro and like for example like i said super from what are the building if you go on the page everyone's everyone's quiet right so who are the people working behind it nobody knows it where is the money going and they recently raised 20 million dollars or 30 million dollars from imposters nft again and you know what you didn't notice this well i forgot to talk about the breadcrumb right mr beast this guy oh my god dude no should i finish the mr beast let me finish the mr beast bro the 100k thousand right hundred thousand. so now let me assume when i go to super farms page i see mr beast is following elio mr beast is following super farm i'm like dude is this the money elio paid because this let me tell you it is possible all right people assume sometimes you have to make logical assumption mr beast probably charges hundred thousand dollars a shout out okay i'm just saying and there's nothing wrong hey a hundred thousand dollars i'll follow your account because if you just follow any account he only follows thousand people anybody who will check out mr beast followers like the following list they probably will give him you know what i mean so i'm like that is very much possible and people won't believe it because it's a big shot but he probably did this elio paid a lot of big people to shill they don't even know what they're shilling they freaking did it and now he's sitting at all huge following and i told you all he need all these people so me trying to break this huge influencer scam because this is actually a big deal if you see this pattern you you can assume everyone all these big ones are doing the same thing now next time this is exactly an example it's not a small example it's a big example these guys are they milked a lot man and coming back to this when they raised this ethereum i've literally seen elia and his team so-called they were waiting for a pump in ethereum so they can announce the white uh, announce the imposters mint because if it's pumps people are gonna pay more price so dude i mean and then after everything you know happened the whole thing dropped ethereum and the whole market is dropping then what happened what's happening with the imposters what are people waiting for now the marketplace or the game and what do the game do marketplace first of all coinbase nft couldn't make it what makes you think these guys will make it man i mean coinbase is huge compared to this super farm so and another misconception people get excited about uh, super farm being listed on all exchanges which is a shocking but also not shocking because they have the money and they give dude it's all money if you have a if you're trading super farm if this guy shills super farm a lot of people buy and sells a lot of trading volume the exchanges make a lot of money from the trading volume so if we see a token being pumped and done by influencers hey i will list it because hey we're gonna make a lot of money from you know and there's also margin calls they started features with super farm people are gonna get liquidated we're gonna make more money so everybody wants to just make money okay not nothing wrong we all want to make it but now you understand where the where the money is coming from and how they're doing it right and you so know what i question, really dislike is every single time they post when it goes up they're always like have fun staying poor and when it dumps they're like <laughs> you have to do your own research don't buy the top it's, yeah it's really hypocritical but you know that's that's the thing they will keep doing it bro and i, I there's no way i can stop them nobody can stop them i'm not here to stop them i'm here to educate those people who are putting money in there that's the difference you know and and that's why i told you like i'm experimenting with all my videos my new channel I've, I've decided to create a video on every topic because i have so many topics to talk about just like natural stuff right, right. i want to do reaction videos call out people i literally can create a video saying open message to elio trades and alex becker I'm gonna. I'm talking to them, right? I'm asking them a question. If they want to answer, they answer. So I don't mind interacting and engaging because that's what I'm gonna do. These guys, they're like, uh, ignore uh, small haters. They can't be like us. They want to do that. That's how it is. This is how it works. And the way they defend themselves is this: fud. These guys are haters. They are. They are not rich like us. That's a very common thing. You know what I mean? Because I haven't seen any big dude calling out sad because two reasons. They don't want to get their hands dirty it's always or they're connected it's how it is or i've seen that it's sad there are some good youtubers they're just focused on their field which is good i think i should do that i told you that um there's a time that we should stop why do you why do we care so much about the world right now like we're trying to help i know one two videos good but if these people don't see it screw that man let us build our 
business and life. Like we need to focus on that too, right? Uh, but you know, it's just the moral value and ethic. No, Sal, you got to do something good. I mean, it just makes us do that, right? So.